Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from a very good friend, Brent Goodman. Thank you, sir. Hi there, guys, and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. It's 1308 on 426.19, and I got a cool thing I thought I'd share with you guys. So, this is a regular wall socket, and this particular one might probably looks a little bit different from the ones in your house. The ones in your house probably just have two vertical lines there and there. Never, never stick anything. But if you have two vertical lines and the hole here, that means that it's a grounded outlet because this is your ground and it's designed to carry a maximum load of 15 amps at 125 volts, 120 whatever. If you have the little horizontal line here, that means it's rated for 20 amps because some plugs will have a vertical here and a horizontal here on really big things, some heaters and big computer stuff. But that's a 20 amp outlet. And a useful thing to know, the big slit, old outlets, these are the same size. Modern outlets, these are two different sizes, and you'll have this side will be bigger than this side. And then you've got the hole down at the bottom. If you just have outlets that look like that, those are really old ones, and they're not grounded, and that'll be your hot, and that'll be your neutral. On modern ones, you'll have that, so you have hot, neutral, and ground. Now, uh, if you see a kid sticking something in an outlet, here's a useful thing to know. The big hole is neutral, and that's totally safe. And the, the mouth hole down at the bottom, that's ground, and that's totally safe. If you stick something in the little hole, you're going to get bit. And knowing that, when you're watching the kid, you can decide just how much you like the kid. Now this side might hurt you if something's done improperly, but this side will hurt you. So that's why the hot hole, the one danger, because three out of, or two out of three, you're okay. Well, the one that's actually the most dangerous is the smallest hole. So today, we're wiring up a 240 volt plug because Moose has a big air pump thing. And it looks like this, which is totally different. Look at that. We got, we got a really funny shape. And this shape on the back, now remember when we, when we did the lesson on wiring these, the hot wire, the, the black wire is a dangerous one, and it goes to the brass connections. Green goes to ground, and that's safe. And white goes to silver for your neutral. Well, this outlet has green for ground, uh, brass for hot, and then on the other side, another brass because they're both hot. Because American power is done through what's called split phase, which is fucking weird. Um, and the way we do it is the two, if you look in the top of your breaker box, and I'll show you guys in a second, you have two hots that come into your breaker box. And those two hots are actually opposite ends of a thing on a transformer, and you, they're, they're 180 degrees out of phase. So from either end, from here to ground, we get 120 volts. And from here to ground, we get 120 volts. But the two hots are, are 180 degrees out of phase with each other. So here to here, you get 120. Here to here, you get 120. But here to here, you get 240 volts. Because relative to each other, they're out of phase. So that's how we get 240 volts and only have 120, 120 volts everywhere else. And that's how it works. So for big things in your house, like your stove and stuff like that, you'll have plugs with dual hots. This is a really tiny one, and you don't see them too often, so I figured I'd share this one. This is a 240 volt outlet rated for 20 amps. So this is only 20 amps. You couldn't run a stove on this or anything, or at least not for very long. Um, and yeah, now you know. I'm gonna wire this up so that we can get the pump working and then we finish out that wall.